The T-7A Red Hawk is the new pilot training system for the next generation of U.S. Air Force fighter and bomber pilots. Owing to the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen, the production aircraft sports the iconic red tail of the first African-American fighter squadron of World War II. Its name is derived from the Curtis P-40 Warhawk, one of the aircraft used by the 99th Fighter Squadron of the Army Air Forces. Designed in the blink of an eye due to an efficient digital thread, the T-7A embodies the top digital century series strategy. Seldom has the integration of new concepts and capabilities been faster or more affordable, all thanks to virtual testing. Soon, the Red Hawk will replace its predecessor. In the words of Program Manager Colonel Kurt Cassell, quote, The T-38 is a true workhorse, training Air Force fighter and bomber pilots for Air Education and Training Command. But the T-7A Red Hawk is a game changer. Backup. As early as 2003, the U.S. Air Force's Air Education and Training Command detailed the requirements to replace the aging Northrop T-38 Talon. Initially, the replacement trainer was to enter service sometime around 2020, but an unfortunate accident in 2008 caused by fatigue failure compelled the Air Service to advance the target date of Initial Operational Capability, or IOC, by three years. Still, a contract award was not expected before the fiscal year 2016, delaying IOC until 2020. Moreover, shrinking budgets and higher priority projects eventually pushed the TX program delivery to the fiscal year 2023, or even 2024. Still, the trainer has remained a top priority within the service. In tandem with the Swedish aerospace company Saab, Boeing submitted a single-engine advanced jet trainer to the competition. The aircraft featured a twin tail, tandem seating, retractable tricycle landing gear, and a General Electric F404 afterburning turbofan engine. The Boeing TX was not revealed to the public until September of 2016, and three months later, the first TX made its maiden flight. By September of 2018, Boeing's design became the official replacement of the T-38 Talon, and the Air Force announced it would acquire 351 aircraft, 46 simulators, maintenance training, and support, all for $9.2 billion. Along with the simulators and associated ground equipment, the aircraft promises to be a suitable replacement for the Air Education and Training Command's aging fleet. In May of 2019, the Swedish company announced it would open a manufacturing facility in Indiana and partner with Purdue University to construct the aircraft. By September, the Air Force officially named the model T-7A Red Hawk in tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen and painted the tails red. The first production T-7 was finally rolled out on April 28, 2022, and will not take long to be delivered to the Air Force. Design Series production began in February of 2021, and within two months, Saab Group delivered the first aft section of the T-7A to the Boeing plant in St. Louis. Boeing then spliced the Swedish-made aft section with the front one, the fins, wings, and tail assembly, and completed the aircraft for use in the Engineering and Manufacturing Development Flight Test Program. Saab's brand new facility will also serve as the manufacturing hub for the aircraft's subsystems, namely the hydraulics, fuel systems, and secondary power. But perhaps most importantly, the Swedish company developed new software for the model to provide a significantly cheaper and faster development. The digital engineering techniques used in the program, specifically model-based systems engineering and 3D tools, allowed the project to move from a computer screen to a maiden flight in barely 36 months. With such an advanced and digitized production line, the T-7A takes only half an hour to splice the aft section with the wings. In addition, the technicians can employ minimal tooling and drilling during the assembly because of the digital build process. What's more, the design allows the addition of future missions, like light attack or fighter rolls. 
As Boeing stated, quote, The T-7A Red Hawk was purpose-built to include provisions for growth, improve supportability, and innovate a maintenance-friendly design. Besides digital engineering, Agile software development and its open architecture mission system will ensure more rapid and affordable aircraft development in the near future. Moreover, the company promises, quote, These modern, computer-driven manufacturing techniques serve as an enabler for the U.S. Air Force's Digital Century Series strategy, while additionally increasing the supply base choices. Indeed, compared to traditional development programs, the T-7A had a 75% improvement in first-time engineering quality, an 80% reduction in assembly hours, and a 50% reduction in software development and verification time. The aircraft will now endure several ground checks and taxi tests before the flight test phase in 2022, when it will fly to Edwards Air Force Base in California. Sustainable Growth The T-7A was able to transition from a concept to a complete product in a few years because it broke the norm. Due to its modular design, the aircraft was explicitly developed for maintainers. Key features include a high wing, easy access doors, and quick release panels, with the affordable and reliable T-7A significantly improving repair times. Furthermore, the new trainer includes highly immersive training and offloading skills, as well as advanced fighter-like performance features similar to those of 4th and 5th generation fighters. Training supplements to prepare students include ground-based training systems, or GBTS, which cover the full range of physical devices and instructional techniques. The aircraft itself is flexible, modifiable, and adaptable to both people and software, so future systems can be easily implemented. Pilots, too, can adjust to their personal preferences, and the entire system can be applied to other missions. Overall, the trainer prepares better pilots in less time by adapting to changing technologies and learning methods, not to mention downloading more expensive training. The Red Hawk requires provisions for growth to keep up with evolving missions in roles such as aggressor, light attack, or fighter, while modern equipment provides advanced mission systems, including a glass touchscreen cockpit, stadium seating, and embedded training capability. In addition, its digital approach and immersive techniques validated supportability issues, innovating a maintenance-friendly design that increased availability and lowered costs. Likewise, subsystem commonality with 4th and 5th generation fighters allows the use of existing infrastructure, further reducing life cycle costs. Future Deals Boeing aims to sell roughly 3,000 Red Hawks in the international market, and beyond the U.S. Air Force, it is targeting Australia and Serbia as potential customers. Meanwhile, the Royal Australian Air Force is searching for a replacement for its 33 BAE Hawk Mark 127 lead-in fighter trainers initially ordered in 1997. And Serbia is also considering the Red Hawk as a suitable option to modernize its trainer aircraft. While the country wishes to replace its G4s and J22s, its military neutrality policy with NATO will allow it to further look into US-made advanced weaponry, as well as its allies. Interestingly, Boeing also plans to offer an armed variant of the Red Hawk, intended to replace the declining Northrop F5 and Dassault Dornier Alpha jet fleets. The first of 351 aircraft to be delivered to the US Air Force rolled off the production line at the Boeing Defense, Space, and Security Building at Lambert International Airport on April 28, 2022. The meaning was not lost on anyone, and Lieutenant General Richard Clark summed it up by saying, quote, With this rollout, we honor our storied history and the heroes who wrote the chapters, and we usher in an exciting new era of aviation and a new generation of heroes who will write the next chapters. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military content and exciting stories from the skies, lands, and seas of the world. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.